on you Wolves. What a victory that is for Wolves today. 3-2 win after being 2-0 down against Southampton at, uh, at St Mary's as well. Away from home, what a performance and what a win by Wolves. I'm sure any of you guys there today will remember this game for uh, for a long, long time. And uh, but what a what a result for Wolves. Um, and this is obviously my initial reaction to the game and to the massive, huge three points for Nuno's side today. So uh, where do we start? I mean, the starting lineup was probably as we expected. Wolves haven't really got any other options at the moment, have they? Um, uh, Patricio starting a goal, Johnny and Doc as the wing backs. We've got uh, then Donker, Sace, and Cody as the centre backs. Ruben Neves and Jean Martino in the middle with Pedro Neto, Adama Traore, and Jimenez starting up front today. Um, again, Adama starting on the left hand side. I'm not too sure what that is, uh, really. Um, what the reason is, whether Nuno's targeting certain fullbacks. Whether he thinks, you know, teams haven't prepared for that, I don't know. But uh, Adama starting on the left, eventually uh, switching back to the right-hand side. But the first off, in in all honesty, was poor. Um, obviously, you, you, you know that with us being 2-0 down. But there wasn't any fight. There wasn't any desire from Wolves. It was a tired first half, which is strange because you normally see that in the second half. And it was just sloppy. And as I say, we, we just didn't want... We, it, was, it seemed as if we didn't want anything from the game. Uh, first goal come in, again, extremely sloppy. Poor, poorly given away free kick. Um, and a ball whipped into the back post. And I don't know, I'm not too sure, to be honest. And I hate to pinpoint players. I'm not too sure what then um, what Doherty is doing, to be honest, at this point. Um, he's, he's had a few seconds, you know, he keeps looking, keeps looking. And it's fallen to the guy at the back post, who, to be fair, has taken his uh, chance very, very well. Uh, hits it, top bins, past Patricio. Uh, but a dreadful way to give away a goal um, because it's avoidable. And then, uh, you know, uh, I'm thinking maybe, right, coming up to half time, maybe we could get ourselves back into this game, get a goal. Um, we did the opposite. We gave Southampton another chance, ball in, very, very easy, poor defending again, and a header into the back of the net. Uh, Shane Long this time, and 2 0 down against Southampton, a team who are so in form at the moment. I think if, you know, if you watch the preview, you would have seen, you know, they've beaten Spurs, they've beaten Chelsea recently. You're probably thinking as a Wolves fan, you know, what, what can we expect? From this second half, you know, uh, at the very most, maybe we could grab a, a point. Uh, but we came out in the second half looking much better. Neto, Adama and uh, Jimenez playing much closer together. Almost as if Neto was playing in the hole and Jimenez and Adama is more central. And it was much more fluid. It was better. We were getting the ball and playing football and moving it about and pushing up the pitch quicker and more effectively, which we haven't been doing in previous weeks. And I think that shows today if Wolves can get another striker of great quality uh, and another number 10 as a rotation option for this op uh, for this idea, I think it could work. Um, but we did that again today and it worked perfectly. First goal come in, courtesy of Pedro Neto. This one not being ruled out for VAR, finally getting that goal. Shocking defender for me for um on Southampton's uh, for Southampton's point of view in this goal, getting the ball down the line, Jimenez into Adama, and uh, he had his men to pick from. I think it was two men, three in the box. It ended up Pedro Neto took his time, but took the finish extremely well, and that got us back into the game. And uh, yeah, that was a great goal, great for Pedro Neto to finally have one not ruled out. And uh, well, I say that he did get one against Watford, but you know he's had the unfortunate uh, events of Liverpool and Manchester United most recently as well. And then we we t we turned the game around, uh, two two. Jimenez threw a penalty. Now I heard someone else say this, but uh, that penalty I. I don't have a clue how the line's been and the referee didn't give it. Finally, a VAR decision going our way. And I think if you got, uh, you know, any more stonewall than that, you would have to apply for planning permission because <laughs> that was it. The end of the day, I don't know how you could not see that was a foul. It took them long enough. We got it in the end. But I don't, I can't think of anyone worldwide who I would trust from the penalty spot more than Raul Jimenez. The guy just does not miss from the penalty spot. Um... So, yeah, another finish, another technique. He's great technique and it, to get us back into the game. And you know what? 2-2, two -two, I would have been delighted. We were dreadful in the first half. And for us to come back from two goals down against a team like Southampton, who we haven't got a great record at St Mary's, uh, but for us to, to, to come back, um, I was very, very happy with that. And the fact that we're now able to celebrate three points through goal number three, which again was uh, through the fluidity of that that. Tr um, that double of Adama and uh, Jimenez. Adama picking the ball up. 
Uh, now, I do have to say, I think we got quite fortunate with this one, but I think it's about time Wall's got a bit of luck, isn't it? Ball comes up in the air. Uh, to be honest, I think it does bounce off Adama's arm and comes down. But because it's so early in the passage of play, this is where the VAR and the new handball rules are so grey. So I do feel for Southampton a little bit, but we've had it against us a number of times already. Uh, ball comes in, does bounce off Adama's arm and comes down. Back to Jimenez. Jimenez plays a beautiful ball over the top for Adama, who runs onto it. We know how quick he can be. And lays it off to Jimenez, who, my word, I know he had a couple of great chances in the first half, but this was a beautiful finish. Curled hard and low into the bottom corner to give Wolves all three points. And we, we deserved it on that second half performance alone. For all the lack of fight and desire that we showed in the first half, we doubled it in the second half. And whatever Nuno said, with the little changes in the attacking, it worked. We were fantastic in the second half. Uh, what a turnaround for any team across Europe to be two goals down at half time in a top flight and be able to turn a game around like Wolves have done. It shows our courage, it shows our character, it shows our desire and what a three points that is. Now, I hope this doesn't sort of paper over the cracks of the squad and the squad depth at the moment. I really do hope Wolves can delve deep into the transfer window this week and add a couple of players because as I said, the way we played in that second half I think that system worked fantastically. And if you can add another couple of additions that can also play in that system, walls are going to be set and we can go for a solid end to the season. This was a massive three points because you guys know we've got some tough games coming up. Liverpool, United and Leicester. So to get three points today was crucial and we did that in some style. We made it difficult for ourselves, but in the end we got three points. Yes, it's going to be a good week and a good weekend uh, for a wall. So be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. Raul Jimenez back on form today. Uh, I think he's surpassed what, the amount of goals he scored uh, last season. He's now Wolves' top Premier League goal scorer as well. Really, really a pleasure to watch him today in that second half. And uh, Adama Troy already with a number two assist. Pedro Neto as well. The attacking three in the end in the second half worked beautifully. But as I say, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'll see you all next time.